so much uh, here at 703. The largest fish, oldest fishing rodeo is uh, getting underway in just a few hours in Grand Isle. And uh, yeah. we have somebody there getting us a sneak peek of all the fun happening. Yeah, it's not just uh, fishing rodeo. There's crab races, food, sunshine, and sand. Josh Robertson is live right on the water. Josh, catch anything yet? That's right, Robbie. You know, we're out here right at the Grand Isle Marina. And, you know, you mentioned the oldest. 1928 is when they got started with the Tarpon Rodeo here in Grand Isle. And we talked to people already. Uh, several boats just went out on the water. They've been out, but several more have been out fishing since before dawn. Um, and they'll be out all day long and through the weekend. And, you know, we talked to several of them who talked about they've been coming to this rodeo, this competition for decades and decades. And you see the beautiful sun is up. We did get some rain earlier this morning, as Amber mentioned. Maybe we get some more. We are right on the coast but it happens and the folks that come down here every single year they know that weather is part of it but right now it is sunny a lot more boats are going out on the water but one of the people we're going to talk to actually and show you is when you come down here to Grand Isle we're in the south obviously but there's so much beauty to see and, and some of that beauty includes art so we're going to walk in here to this workshop where we have Rodney Lewis, who's a local artist, right under here, under the uh, the Grand Isle Marina. Rodney, we were just looking at your wares, and we're going to let Miles walk over and show some of this beautiful artwork you got in here. Yeah. And what does it mean to you to be out here right during the Tarpon Rodeo? And you said, you, you know, you've been down here for years and years. Oh, yeah, it's an awesome rodeo. There's uh, lots of great people down here. There's, uh it's one of the, the finest rodeos in, in Louisiana. And you're down, you, know, you got your shop here, and you got you look like you've been hard at work painting. And will you talk to me about your art? Because we walked in here, and this is just a little corner of the marina here. But yeah. When you walk in, I mean, well, Miles is showing it right now. This stuff yeah. is beautiful. What, how are you inspired to come down here and, you know, live like most of your summer down here, but then become this incredible artist? I mean, this is amazing. Well, I thank you for your compliment there. <laughs> but, uh, now, the piece that he's showing now is... Uh, is a hand carved, it's a relief carving of uh, uh, speckled trout and redfish and uh, mm -hmm. having a, a feeding frenzy. Oh. And so that piece is on a sinker cypress. So you paint on, on a lot of this other stuff is, is painted on cypress as well? Yes, sir. everything I paint on the bigger pieces is cypress. Uh, a sinker cypress. I do use some uh, regular uh, uh, fresh cut from time to and time. And he's looking at your p -rows here, which you yeah. said those will take you like five minutes to make them, right? Those I, are quick. My best time is a minute 27 Oh, a minute. Yeah, I, you I, yeah. I, I, I don't <laughs> want to brag, though. But yeah. Oh, you should brag. This stuff well, is incredible. And Rodney, again, being down here, what does it mean to you to just be a person who spends so much of the year here in Grand Isle, and then you get to be down here doing what you love while watching all these boaters do what they love? What does it just mean to you to be down here in Grand Isle? You know what? It's a slice of heaven. Uh, I guarantee you. I love Grand Isle. Yeah, uh, the people have been good to me, and uh, I, I give back a lot. I, a lot of my artwork all through the year, I donate the artwork to a lot of the uh, fishing rodeos, and they are able to raise their funds. Had one pay, uh, one piece. They told me that it was auctioned off for ten thousand dollars. Oh my goodness! Like wow, you know that was pretty cool. <laughs> well, it, but I could paint you a P row and within uh, a minute if you'd like to. I, I don't. Yeah, we. Uh, I want you to try. I want you to try, and if we don't okay. make it, I'll yeah. show it to him later. Well, we're going to let Rodney get hard at work on this, and we'll send it back to you. But while he's doing this, we're going to show it because we're going to show it back. We're going to show it when he's done. He said yeah, it only Josh, takes him like hey, a look. minute. I know we're about out of time. When we come back to you, we're going to show it to you. No, we got no, we got All time. Right, he said a minute. We we, if he's got a minute, and we'll do it. We'll take we it for a minute. Yeah, he said it does not take long. And then we'll take a little bit right look here. This. Look at that. We we'll take that brush and make a little, little bit. This of is that. custom we'll art right happening here. live on there Fox 8 go. Morning Edition here we'll at the Tarpon Rodeo. Here we go. Josh, what's he saying there? Looks He's like explaining it to us. So we'll make a little cypress tree. And yeah. uh, that's like a little A right there. And then uh, we'll make another little one, quick one. And then we'll put somebody standing right here. Painting some and cypress they'll, trees. They'll people. They'll Got the people right there, there on the P-Row. Hey, it looked like we're going to just make a, a dot for the head and a little arm, you know, something. This not is great. Folk art, nothing, nothing complicated. I mean, it, so, it doesn't, it's not complicated for you, Rodney, because yeah. you're so good at it, <laughs> well, man. This is amazing. Uh, I celebrated my 30th anniversary on March 18th of Aww. being a full-time artist. And so we got a little fishing pole there, and he's coming down. He's going he gonna to catch him a little fish. This is know. Grand Isle Bob Ross we're listening to right now. <laughs> I have people tell me that every once in a while. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. It's a happy little hero. Happy Ronnie, little we love you, man. This is so good. Yeah. Hey, he, 
he's he's finishing this up for us right now. We're gonna definitely yeah. bring this home yeah. with us because this is beautiful. And there you go. It's done. It's just like that. It. That's awesome. Look at that. What? Dang, oh, look at that. That's that incredible. so great, too. Hey, listen. Sometimes Ooh. people come by and they'll request something that's really complicated. <laughs> you know, I have a sign that says, you name it, I'll paint it, but I reserve the right to say no. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, hey, it seems like almost anything you can handle. Oh, look, yeah. Rodney, look, if you guys are coming down here for the Tarpon Rodeo, get your, listen to the music, listen, get you some food, get you some drinks, go out and fish, but come say hi to Rodney. This is amazing. Is this is one of the awesome. best little things. I couldn't. I can't believe we found this secret. We'll send no, it back to you guys, awesome. but this is awesome. You Tell Rodney we buy anything. Just come say hello. Just come say yeah, hello. that's all right by me. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. Frank, thank you, Rodney. All right. all right, guys. All right, Josh and Roddy, thank you both thank so much. Thank you. Wow, what a treat that was.